Trevor Milton arrested? Potentially not realistic. I think it's just a meme. Most likely just a meme. Potential bankruptcy. Not really a viable scenario. The stock did drop a lot, but it's still up a lot relative to where it was. They did get a recent replacement, and I'm going to go into that with this video. So make sure to like this video, comment below your own inputs on Trevor and Nicola's future. And we're going to jump into it here. Uh, the breaking news was that Trevor Milton, Nicola Corp founder and former executive chairman, was arrested by the DOJ and FBI at Sky Harbor Airport in Phoenix, Arizona this morning. This news is so far unconfirmed. Likely a meme, but I figured I'll share it anyways. Uh, since this news has come out, he's locked up his tweets. There isn't a whole lot going on. Something a little fishy is still going on. I mean, they're still running the SEC investigation into this company. Not a whole else, a lot to say about that. The person that they're replacing him with is Stephen Gursky, former vice chairman of General Motors, how ironic, and a member of Nikola's board. As chairman of the board, effective immediately, the board has accepted the proposal by Trevor Milton to voluntary step aside as executive chairman from the board. Uh, Gursky is a managing partner of Vector IQ LLC, an independent advisory firm. He served in a number of uh, capacities at General Motors from 2009 until 2014. And then, of course, Gersey also served on General Motors' board following an emergence from bankruptcy in June 2009. So they're pulling him in in kind of a desperate attempt to keep the company alive. Not exactly a bullish sign, but not exactly bearish either. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to go bankrupt. But basically an official press release here, uh, just to confirm that he's pretty much out the door, is that Nicolaic Corporation today announced that Trevor Milton approached the board of directors and to voluntarily step aside as executive chairman and from the board. I already mentioned that. Board accepted this proposal. Stephen Gursky took over. Uh, as he says, Nikola is truly in my blood and always will be, and the focus should be on the company and its world-changing mission, and not me. So I made a difficult decision to approach the board and volunteer to step aside as executive chairman. Founding uh, Nikola and growing it in a company will change transportation for the better and help protect our world's climate. It has always been an incredible honor. He also said in another statement previously that he's stepping down to protect his investments. So that is something that seemed to be not highlighted in this press release. That could have, uh, you know, that was alleged comments that he made via another source in my previous video, which you can check out in the comments below there. And then as we move forward, I am confident that Steve is the right leader to guide our vision at the board level. In addition to being an early Believer and supporter of Nicholas, Steve has more than 30 years of experience working with OEM leaders, suppliers, dealers, labor leaders, and national policymakers, and has served on a director of numerous public companies. That's kind of true, basically. Lots of experience. He's a lot more qualified than at least Trevor was. And then Milton continued, As we've built a deep branch of talent over the years, I'm confident Nicholas Chief Executive Mark Russell, supported by Chief Final Answer... Officer Kim Brady and the rest of the leadership team will advance our goal of making Nikola the global leader in zero emissions transportation. I want to thank all of Nikola's employees, investors, and partners who have shared in my vision and rally behind Nikola during this time. He's very excited about that, very hopeful about that, very proud of that. But at the same time, you got to think they haven't generated any, you know, actual net profit at this point. So a lot of promises and not a lot to show for it at this point. You know, it's still early in this company's development, so you could say, you know, still promise, but at this point, iffy, not enough to go on. You know, you need more of a valid, you know, net profit, even any revenues beyond uh, solar panel installations. And Gursky said, on behalf of the board, I want to thank Trevor for his visionary leadership and significant contributions to Nicholas since its founding. Trevor saw the possibility of creating an NN zero emission transportation system when the industry was still in its nascent stages and took action to build the Nikola of today with the generation of $36,000 in profit from the solar panels with world-class partnerships, groundbreaking R&D, a revolutionary business model. I know I speak for everyone at Nikola in our gratitude and wishing him the best. We remain committed to delivering on our objectives and creating value for our shareholders, said Mark Russell. Not sure what value there is at this point because they have not generated any net profit. They haven't generated really any revenue to this point. They have gotten some contracts, might be hopeful. They did partner with GM. Ironically, the person that's going on board with Nikola is a GM-associated person. There's probably some 
back end filings that kind of benefited both uh, Trevor and uh, these this guy ahead of time. Likely a planned transition. Uh, Gursky is generally there in past experience to get companies out of bankruptcy or out of hot situations. So he's kind of a good pick for Nikola at this point. Uh, apparently his uh, resignation was a shock. Uh, I don't see why, you know, he had a lot of bad press. He had to leave. They probably forced him out. I seriously doubt he left on his own, you know, at this point it's considered a hiccup could recover, could not, you know, you never know with uh, companies like this. It's a very new company. You know, it's kind of a Tesla hype association. There's still promise potentially, in what Nikola offers, but at the same time, uh, there's a lot of questionable things with Hindenburg's research uh, report that kind of make you question a lot of that. At least they're pushing towards a more professional staff that might know a little bit better of what they're doing. Uh, uh, supposedly, he stepped down likely because of the short seller pressure. And probably a good decision. They took a big hit today. Obviously, you know, down almost 17% currently, but they were down almost 22% in the open market. That is a huge drop just from someone leaving. I feel there's a little bit more going on, but you know, on a historical chart, it's not doing so hot. You know, since the initial hype that it came out, it's only been crashing from the 80s all the way down to now in the 20s. Uh, do I feel it might go lower? Yeah, it's likely that it's going to continue to go lower but you know maybe in the low 20s might be a viable entry if you want to take that risk personally this company is not for me too much volatility too much news going on their main twitter here isn't saying a whole lot on that doesn't surprise me something for you guys to consider thank you for listening in if you like these videos i can do more videos on nicola trevor martin and the upcoming you know SEC investigations, if there's updates on that. They're probably going to be very quiet on that for legality reasons, obviously. But uh, anything you'd want me to talk about in any kind of videos in relation to EV or whatever, you can just put them in this video and be all set to go. Have a nice day, everybody, and thank you for listening in, and feel free to... Th uh, feel free to leave comments below on your own input on what you think the future of Nikola is. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.